Venezuela, and I have the late, great Kevin Hurley, his son, with me, Chris. Chris, obviously a very special presentation for you and your family after this match. Yeah, it is. It's an absolute honour to um, present the most valuable picture to the uh, winning picture of the game. Uh, I know they don't often give out or ever give out um, individual trophies, so as a family, it's just a great honour to be able to present it today. How proud would Dad be if he could be here today to see an event like this and the Black Sox in the final? Oh, mate, it's amazing. What a, what a set-up with um, the field and the stands. I think Dad would just be stoked and uh, he'd love to be out there at the moment, I think, doing it for New Zealand. So, yeah, it's uh, unbelievable. Well, thanks very much, Chris. We'll see you at the end of the game out on that diamond. Thanks, buddy. So we go to the top of the third and it's all locked up here in the final. A great home run to right field from Patrick Shannon. He's the man of the moment. Here he is. Big job at hand now to get him behind Manly. Show the leadership. Control the tempo of the game and call the pitches. One of the best performers with the bat in the box now for Venezuela. The umpires. So some brilliant work on third base over the last few days. Certainly been a leader for them today. Change up, call the ball. He's got to bring that down for a strike. One ball, one strike on Paez. The charge comes up in the background. One misdirected. Nice and burned, just some words of encouragement from the shortstop to the pitcher. Two ball, one strike, two one. Nice cut there, wasn't it? You can always tell when a hitter's right on the pitch because when he fouls it, it goes straight back to the net behind the hitter. Not early, not late. Right Here we go, batter. Let's go. On deck for Venezuela is Corrales, followed by Flores. some advice to the umpire saying no 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 right there advice coming from all angles it's the hit to Nuku Nuku clean to Roma first down taken and I talk of the Black Sox family stand built to accommodate the families of the players. And uh, one of the members, of course, beside me here, Mark Sorensen. Won this tournament four times, Mark. Those families and supporters of the players will be fizzing at the moment. Oh, it's nice to be able to, you know, group them together and have everybody share in the tension and the joy, hopefully. Too manly. Could be the snap to it, so a good effort there by Gralis. And now Rafael Flores will make his way into the balance box. He'll be followed up by Linares, Zambrano on deck as well. If there's a field you want to hit it to, it's certainly the pitcher. He's off balance after he's thrown the pitch. There, right back. Manly not quite in a position to be able to field it. Off his glove, out to centre field. And Quirelles safely on first with one out in the third inning. Flores. Chunky stature, he too gets a high hopper. It's to Nuki Nuki, the easy out on first.
He does advance Qualis. Collision. Umpires are talking about it at the moment. As he went from first to second, yeah, second base, he said be Alba. Peter Angle. Nathan comes in there in his sly. No interference. Uh, hands no interference. go up. Okay. No interference. Okay, we heard home plate umpire. No interference. Well, he did field the ball. Torres. Yeah, quite a. Uh, All right, here we go. Let's play. Let's quite play. an elaborate discussion there by a second base umpire, uh, Javier. Pinaroya from Argentina. Two outs. Melades. Well, don't know what he's saying. He's just happy, happy to be at the ballpark out in the sun. Love him being at the softball. One strike, the count. Make that two. Part of the key for the Black Sox moving forward now, I think, is to control the tempo of the game. We talked a lot over the last few days about okay. tempo, but we noticed yesterday that Venezuelan slowed the game right down. Put a lot of emotion and passion into the game, but it's pretty close. You can surprise by Shannon as well. He thought it was good enough. Yeah, the the, the business one the side. The emotion that they're bringing, which is they'll control the controllables. Two balls and two strikes, and two outs. Runner on second. Oh! Foul ball. Two balls, two strikes. Two, two, two out. Chance for Manley to put one in the ball. Oh. The full count. Yeah. Yeah. SF Men's World Softball Championships have got it live here on Sky Sport. Great to have you along. Hope you're enjoying the drama. Rosedale Park, the home of North Harbour Softball. Oh. Manly. Walks to the Lattice. Johnny Zambrano. Bring it out of the box now. Be followed by Chirinos. Hot work out there. Warrants a conversation. Coming in. Manly just getting in the way from a vision point of view there, but looked like it was very, very close. However, more importantly, USA umpire Greg Pohl, he said it was a ball. Nobody hurt. Runner still on second base. Just meant that Linares goes down to first. Tiny Shannon waiting in the wings. First pitch to Zambrano as I'm reaching. Smart start for the man on the mound. Out. Coach Galassi just coming out to talk to the first base umpire. All right, let's play, Miles. Possibly a shoelace is undone. Helping him out. Yeah, well, as you've mentioned before, 
anything to just upset the rhythm of your opponent. So there's a bit of brinksmanship, gamesmanship as well. A little side action going on with with uh, Quirrell as a second and Tyson Byrne where they tried to pick off. They've been having a little discussion with each other the last pitch. Went twice. Zambrano didn't think so. Thought he had pulled out early enough. But not according to Greg Pohl behind the plate. Two to first, and the Venezuelans won't be able to add to their score. They have two runners on, but couldn't get them around. And score line stays one all as we go to the bottom. Wonderful reception as they made their way across the field to start the game off to the tune of ACDC's Back in Black. It's a popular tune over here for softball supporters in New Zealand. Ladies and gentlemen, the ball of Venezuela makes some noise. That's what you want to hear when you come into the ballpark. It's your ballpark, it's your home venue, and the majority of people are there to come to watch you. So, you know, you want a big lift and a big cheer from everybody coming in. and ACDC just probably adds to it. Well, it is an Australian tune after all. Well, some thought uh, maybe not the most appropriate tune. Dolores was a translator yesterday, now he can't speak English. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. Thank you. What, what are you saying, Blue? I don't understand. When the coach comes out later, he'll talk through Flores. Zero, zero. Play oh, ball. Ruben This is the type of sideshow stuff that I talked about earlier that really important we don't buy into. You know, we know how we want to play, we know the game we want to play, we just got to concentrate on that. That's a strike. Looking at the new two. So it's one and one on the Black Sox. Lead off batter. Pulled in late into the squad. Done well. He's had a loan as well, so slightly in looking at his favour. Bit of a smile. Enjoying his international softball yet again. That's a good pitch from Urban here. Just leading off here, and the, the way that Urban is trying. Very important for Nathan just to keep that front shoulder tucked and look to drive the ball up the middle. You're not going to be able to sweep in behind it and pull that pitch on the outside half of the plate. Got to look to drive it up the middle, maybe the centre left field alley. Good pitching for the Venezuelan chucker. Nathan Nuki Nuki. Been hoping for a better result. Let's have a look at this last pitch. Yeah, got Nathan late. Didn't think he was it was going to be there, and knew straight away. So Tyson Byrne now, the left-handed batter. It's a little bump. Foul! And the bump just rolls Bill for a strike. Well, this venue, which has been extensively refurbished, especially for these championships. Attempted bunt down the first baseline. Look at that, the rock. <laughs> he, he's not going anywhere as John Zambrano. He has the right to field the ball. Byrne has to run around him. One ball and one strike. Really is a leader here, Flores. 
Nice. Let's get his team into position. Nibanea looks on. Winds himself up. Looks for Burn. Easy out on first. Uh, two outs here in the bottom of the field. The Black Sox. One run scored with a home in the right field for Pat Shannon. Infield, ground ball to Chiranos. He's been retired. Fifth for the second out. 23 in. Okay, so what's happening here is that Lopez, the coach, is taking quite a, a, a baseball approach here, and, and he's thinking that the left-handed substitution Urbanea, 15 is out. Is not going to have as easy success against the right-handed Rona. So what they're doing is bringing in Ramon Jones, who we've always already seen today. He's going to replace Urbanea because it's a right-handed hitter and a right-handed pitcher. So going to go through the heart of the New Zealand order now with Ramon Jones. So it's a strategic change. And they've identified that the key guys they want to get out with Urbanea, but probably more importantly is Urbanea's day is done. He can't re-enter. Alvarez, who started the game, can because he's on the starting roster. So he's one of the starting members of the team. He's allowed to re-enter if need be. So a lot's going to rest on Ramon Jones' shoulders for, these Ven for the Venezuelans. They have also got Juan Colombo, who's faced 34 batters, which is the, the least amount of batters faced from any of the Venezuelan pitchers throughout the week. Given up a couple of runs per seven inning. Nine hits, 34 batters faced. So a lot's going to ride on Jones' shoulders here. Very much so. For him, but I'll be slightly disappointed too. That will be the, the end of his tournament. We enjoyed seeing him on the mound. Now it comes down to Udamon Jones. A tall and strong right-handed pitcher. He faces now Brad Roma. The first base for the Black Sox. Two outs. Along the fouls is first away. Doesn't, he doesn't want that ball. 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 Coach is coming out. Trying to disrupt things here. Good ball. This is huge ball. Pitch the ball, he says. You've got to report the attitude of the USA umpire, Greg Pohl. He just says, come on, guys, let's get on with it. Yeah, a little bit too much of this now. Really important, as I said before, can't stress it enough. We've got to stick to our game in this situation. Because it can take, you know, the, the flow of the game. But I don't think you're going to sway Greg Paul who's adamant. He's got a commendable attitude. The crowd a little bit frustrated. Finally, we get to see softball. One strike. So, One strike. On that. One strike on him, two outs, this is the bottom of the third. And here comes Ramon Jones. Oh! Hit ball! Yeah. Kind of knew that it was going to hit him. I got it, I got it, I got it. Hey, no, hey. Knock it off. Um, 
picture of Ramon Jones trying to prove a point here. I didn't want to throw with that ball, sir. And a little bit of spice to it now. Oh. You know, Makes for a colourful encounter. It's all now going to be about professionalism. Maintaining a standard here. Well, one bloke you wouldn't want to rile is Brad Wilmer. Yeah. He doesn't get the name Big Bad Brad for nothing. Yeah, that's a fact. A bit of drama here in the third inning. That's more like it from Jones on Danny Mill. Coming in for Donnie Hale. One strike against his name. Big swing. Like that too. Oh. Oh. He's got a wonderful arm. Two second base here. Seen him use that slingshot many times. Leveled up at 2 2. Two ball, two strike. Good count here. Daniel Moon looking for something out over the plate, probably low in the zone. It's a foul, so he, he's hanging in there with Daniel Mill. Hoping to push Ronner around, or even better. Zambrano. A sportsmanship displayed there on first base. Jones winds it up. That's a good cut from Daniel Mill. Only just missed that one. Nice, easy stroke on the drop ball. Over the plate. Two ball, two strike. Well, we're getting a good look here at Ramon Jones. Oh! Swing! Checking with the first base. Oh, and it is Mitch Zook. Says he didn't go. Three balls, two strikes, two out. Brad Runner will be running on the pitch. Gives him a bit of a head start. So what it'll mean is he'll be stealing. When the pitch is let go, because it'll either A, be a ball, and Mill will walk, or B, be a strike. Strike out, hit ball. Something's going to happen. Ball! So Daniel Mill is through the first. Lula around the second. That brings the skipper. Reese Casley. We talked about a captain's knock last night against the Venezuelans. Certainly be a good time now, bottom of the third innings. Reese Casley up to bat. All right, here we go, better. Of course, Venezuela might be ruining their decision now because the left handed pitcher would have caused more problems for Casley. He struck out in his first time at bat. Oh. This one well wide too. So one the batter's way. The Black Souls looking to convert. Sitting dead red there, that was out over the plate, and he did exactly what it deserved that pitch. Pushing the Black Sox out to a full run to one lead. There it is, he knew straight away. Look at that, the hand goes up. Yes, sir, baby.
Well, that's why the fans come from the World Park. What? The big match is... A little bit, yeah. The big man, the skipper, answers the call. Brilliant softball. No, no, no. The job's not done. But what a fillip that is for the Black Sox chances. The good job is, with all the theatrics that we had earlier in the innings, you know, about the... Somewhat. Confidence dented. Big swing. One of the book for Jones. Two balls and one strike. See it in Anoka's eyes there. He knew he'd got a pitch. He's disappointed, but only two strike. One one strike, sorry. Like that too. They'll take the emotion out, settle down, get back to business. He's a good hitter, got a good zone. Look to drive the ball up the middle. Nice effort from the shortstop. And at the bottom of the third innings, it is New Zealand. Three runs coming off the bat of Kaisley, and they lead it 4-1.